Okay, this is a private video meant to be received by Mr. Henry Abateo for any questions that might have to do with the circumstances going on. My name is Frank Battaglia. I'm an American who lives in the Philippines, and uh, I have a family here. I am with a Filipino, and I am also raising two of her children. I run a YouTube channel called Morning Brew, and I've been under different names. But to also note, there are something called trolls on YouTube. Trolls are people who like to put shows on that are very against other YouTubers. I've been going through this for eight years. Eight years. Okay. Now, the mistake I made was publicizing the fact that Henry went to immigration. He did not go to immigration to intimidate the prisoner, Barry Lee Jordan, who is in jail for both immigration overstay and now has five cybercrime counts against him. Now, I live a considerable distance away. I'm 69. I don't really travel that often. And my attorney has been vacationing in Boracay. So I said, do me a favor, Henry. Um, I can't come down to Cebu. So do me a favor and, you know, I'll pay for your transportation, whatever. I don't expect anything to be done for free. Henry is more of a friend. He has represented me or actually was involved with uh, a case I have in Bagol against a YouTuber. There are two people that there are pen that are cases going on right now as we speak. Henry is probably going to be a witness in the Barry, G Barry Lee Jordan case of cybercrime for me because he's familiar with uh, the Barry Jordan uh, saga, shall I call it that. Henry is a good man. Um, there are no bribes involved here. Absolutely no bribes. I am the one who offered Henry money for his transportation costs and so forth. Also because the holiday was coming up, religious holiday, and I'm not a rich person. I'm really not a rich person. But I thought I'd help him out a little bit. He'd have extra money for his vacation uh, holidays. I'm like that. And if Henry was in a really bad position, although I said I'm not wealthy at all, I would have no problem sending him a G cash. Here, you know, hope this helps you out. I can't do much, but whatever. This is the case with, with Henry Abateo. When somebody makes an accusation such as bribery, these people themselves should be put up in front of a legal institution if you were able to find out who they are, there's a channel called Swampcast Frank Pataglia, which is not my show. There are several YouTube channels that go under my name, and their whole purpose is to copy anything that I put on my show. It's a way of intimidating me. It's a way of antagonizing me. And Barry Lee Jordan, who is in the Mandawi Detention Center, and we're going through a pre-trial with him right now, is somewhat involved with this. Mr. Jordan is trying to get his case dismissed, and uh, based on the evidence I have, I don't think that's going to happen, but Mr. Barry Lee Jordan is quite desperate in his efforts to try to discredit me or anybody associated with me. So let's get back to Henry Abateo. There's absolutely no bribery going on. I was never asked for money from Mr. Abateo. I offered, I, I live a considerable distance away. In this particular situation where he went to immigration, it was simply as a favor, do me a favor. I don't think that uh, immigration is aware that there's an actual court order for him to be put into CPDRC because the information highway is very slow in the Philippines. And my lawyer was going on vacation in Boracay, so I couldn't ask him to do it. I don't know many people in Cebu City proper. Okay, Mr. Abateo has never asked me for any money whatsoever. 
I want to make that clear. I gave him money for his time, his effort, and had nothing to do with him asking me for money. YouTube trolls try to destroy the reputation of other YouTubers and anybody that they may be associated with, legally or otherwise. Henry Abate was a good man, and I said I got to know him many years ago where he was putting information together for me on a cybercrime case. That's how I got to know Henry. Henry's a hardworking man, and I stand behind him and the work that he does. But for anybody to label him as giving or taking, rather, bribes or asking for money is totally out of the question. I am the one that gave money to Mr. Abateo, okay? Because his time is worth something for his personal efforts. I live a long way from Cebu, and if I had to come down myself, I'd wind up having to stay at a hotel and eat and everything else. It costs a lot more than the small amount of money that I've given to Mr. Abateo for his efforts. So financially, it worked out better for me to have him deliver this copy of a court order that is meant for Mr. Jordan to be uh, remanded to the CPDRC. Now, from my past experience, I've been through this before, and the system is very slow. The warden has been told that there's a detainee, what they call it, a PDL? I'm not sure. And that there is a court order from the Barilli Courthouse at the time. We're now dealing with Toledo on his case, but the judge from the Barilli Courthouse issued an order that Barry is to be remanded to the CPDRC. That's what's going on. However, from my experience in the past, the information never gets delivered to its uh, to the uh, people that should be receiving it. And all I figured was, look, if uh, Henry has the time, I'll compensate him for his time, gasoline, whatever, to do this for me. I don't expect anything to be done for nothing. As I said, I'm not wealthy, but it's more worthwhile for me to just pay him something for his time. There's nothing against the law with that. There's nothing. I offered to give Mr. Abateo money on a GCash to spend his time because my lawyer did not have the time or was really making a hell of a lot of effort to see that Mr. Barry Lee Jordan gets transferred to an actual prison. Not only was my lawyer on vacation, but quite frankly... My attorney is uh, not exactly a person who is Johnny on the spot, it's an American expression, to get things done right away. I wanted to see Mr. Barry Lee Jordan in a real prison during his trial period because he's dangerous, he's an undesirable, and he's caused a lot of problems in my life. But causing problems in Henry's life that's not called for. That's what's going on. Mr. Jordan is trying to make Mr. Abateo's life miserable. And he is related to the person behind this troll channel that's called Swampcast. S-W-A-M-P-C-A-S-T. Frank Pataglia, which is my name. It is not my channel. There are several channels devoted to me with my name. I only have one YouTube channel, which is called Morning Brew, B-R-E-W. So to end this, uh, I'm giving this recording, or I will do this in person. Anytime at all, if you have any questions or doubts about anything, I will make myself available. But I will basically sum this up as saying there were no bribes going on. I am a guest, even though I reside in this country for a long time and have a family here. I'm not, 
I'm just a guest in this country. And as such, I'm not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize my position in this country, which I love to be. I have a wonderful Filipina, take care of her two kids. I'm not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize Henry or jeopardize my existence and my life at 69 years old in this country. That's just not going to happen. That's why I'm doing this video, which is meant to go into Henry's hands only. This is not being broadcast on YouTube. Mr. Abateo has never taken a bribe because there's never been a bribe. He has never asked me for any money. However, if Mr. Abateo, on a personal level, had a situation going on, and he wanted to borrow something from me, if I was able to afford it, I probably would accommodate him. And there's nothing against the law with that. Mr. Abateo has not broken any laws whatsoever. What he does in his own time, it's his personal business. If I decide to give somebody money for their transportation and time and effort, that's my doing. If I'm doing something wrong, I suppose you'll let me know. I don't see anything I'm doing wrong. It is nothing that Mr. Abateo is doing wrong. And if you have any other questions, I'm certainly willing to attend a personal investigor, investigor, excuse me, investigatory meeting on this matter.